So <laughs> this morning, we went to go check out some houses. Super early, I've had like four hours of sleep. Um, we're looking at new houses because either one, I get a warehouse, two, I get a bigger house, right? But these houses that we're looking at, we saw three houses and two of them were horrible just because it just was too small, it was confined, there was no backyard so that's a big thing for us because of Honey and Biggie and the main factors that we need, obviously more rooms, we need natural light and a place for the doggies. But the third place we just checked out was really nice, we both liked it, however there isn't a proper backyard but there is like two little balcony areas which are pretty decent size. Time for us to go get some food and then later on we're gonna head down to Lyra which is right near Geelong to pick up some car parts for this one. McDonald's, McDonald's, damn there's always so many people here. Are we in time for breakfast? Yep. Just. We'll get orange juice as well? Yes please. Yep, anything else? No, that's it. My car's getting wet, by. I'm fucking soaking. <laughs> yep. Brands fresh. Mm -hmm. You guys need to watch this guy as well. Adam Alzheimer. Alzheimer. So him and his girlfriend. Um, he owns the same cars that I used to own. So he owns an E92 335 uh, twin turbo, and then he has a built S15, a built 180, and his girlfriend drives a SIL 80, which is crazy. And it's like family friendly, and they've also got like a mil plus subscribers, which is crazy for like a drift channel. You don't even have to try and go and fucking set it off. Yeah, she's a cottage girl, got her dancing on me. Go into the club, got the drinks on me. I ain't trying to leave you, I don't want you lonely. She's a college girl, she ain't got a truck. Got it on her own, even got a job. She's a college girl, she ain't got a truck. And if you're trying What's happening? God, I was scared. I'm like, you're going into his house? Why are you going more in his driveway? Yeah. So you can steal my car. Oh, man. Look. Mark, it's not car park. <laughs> Don't you like this dash? It's so nice. I didn't realize how big it was going to be. Babe, it's a whole dash. I'm going to quickly show you guys what I purchased a full S15 conversion for my car with door trims and everything but the only thing is I'm not too sure if I want to put it in my car because it's a lot of work at the same time it being a lot of work I want to keep my car as stock as possible but at the same time if I do the S15 dash conversion I don't have a heater and I don't have aircon which is the two like most needed things in Melbourne because the weather is crazy here so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it now back to work on this what I realized is that I popped it in wrong so as you guys can see right here it's going through this one it actually needs to go through this one and it makes my steering wheel straight because at the moment it's like slightly to so if it needs to go back down this way slightly to this angle this angle here so I need one notch cross so it goes straight and if I didn't buy this mechanism right here taking off these steering wheel hubs would have taken me See, and I say that, and this shit doesn't come off. Mother F. No lie, I just did the most disgusting thing. I went through the bin outside to get this piece. What I realized, this is the piece that grounds everything. So this needs to go in between here and the boss kit. So when this pops, this bit right here pops through, it makes my horn work. Bloody hell. 
I threw it out as well because I was like, what the hell is this for? After a really busy day of driving all over the place to look up house inspections and stuff, it's time for us to make some lunch. So I'm going to make us some meagering noodle stir fry. us up this Chinese sausage, peas, carrots, I just found on the camera, and me growing noodles. This was meant to be a snack, but uh, clearly not a snack. It takes up the whole plate. <laughs> Honestly, the last couple days, this is what I've been looking at. HTML coding, and it's driving me absolutely insane. All these freaking words and stuff, bloody hell. Guess what? I'm wearing this new jacket. I've had it for about a week, but I haven't worn it as of yet because I haven't really found anything and I wasn't really going anywhere to. This bomber jacket was so cheap. It cost me like $20. I mean, it's not as cheap as the $51 ones that I got from H&M, but pretty good. Just wearing all black with the shoes and some Yeezys. Playing a fishbowl tonight from 10 to 11 and then I'm going to go to Electric Dreams from 11.30 to 12.30. So it's a good night because I'm starting early and I'll be finished pretty reasonably early. Let's go. As you can see, I'm back home. I made a stop by, I got some McDonald's. This is the second time I'm having McDonald's today, but this time I got some nuggets just because I realized that we didn't have dinner and I was super, super hungry. It was an okay night, but I think I'm a little bit bummed out because I got a parking ticket. I don't know why this always happens. Uh, the last time it was because I was like five minutes late and the guy was already there fighting me, but this time it was because I was supposedly in a taxi zone and it was normal parking guys honey it was normal parking for the time that I was there but I didn't read it properly and by the time I finished DJing it turned into a taxi uh, bay area there was all these other cars still there as well and they got fined too so yeah it's like $95 and I'm like oh my goodness what a waste i should have just stayed home and not have gotten a fine but i'm gonna eat now watch some blackish and go to sleep guys you guys are so annoying thank you and i have work early tomorrow so uh hopefully i'll be able to get at least a couple of hours of sleep before i have to get up not sure if it's going to be the end of the vlog but if it is don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and uh we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog bye guys